up, y'all? It's your girl, Classic Coco, your host for Let's Be Real, the podcast. And I'm coming to you with another episode, coming to you with another dope artist from Charlotte. His name is Sean Kemp. And I'm so excited that he's here today with us to tell us a little bit more about him, his music, and just his vibe and your career. So what's up? How you doing? What it is, what it ain't, what it's looking like. <laughs> what it is, what it ain't, what it looking like. Okay, so let everybody who doesn't know who you are, what you do, where you're from, what you know, let them know who you are. You know, I go by Sean Kemp, you know. I'm from Shelby, you know, so I've been living in Charlotte for a little minute. You know what I'm saying? I trap rap. That's that's my genre right there. Trap, trap rap. rap. That's what I like. Okay. Okay. So uh, what's that mean? We, we, I mean I'm, I'm in the kitchen, right? We trap rap. I'm what? I'm whipping, whipping, that's whipping. What, that's, that's, what, what, that's what we doing. Listen, I got... <laughs> what you listen to? Sean Camp in the back? Yeah. What? Check it out. Okay. What's up? So <laughs> when did you start doing music and what kind of was your motivation for doing music? I always like music. Mm-hmm. I started taking it serious like I'm gonna say a year ago. Mm-hmm. Be taking it serious, investing in myself. You know what I'm saying? Putting all my money behind everything I do. Yeah. That's when I started taking it serious. Yeah. So when you started investing, so what actually? What was your first song that you made? Kind of that made you want to start doing music. My first song I made was called 1500. 1500. Yeah. And what was the what was the subject of that? What kind of what was the main point of fifteen hundred? It's not like a liquor. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, I ain't in that. Nah, it's basically like you know what I'm saying. Getting fly, dressed and fly. Yeah. Get money. Get money. Basically, that's all. So where did fifteen hundred come from? The name. Honestly, I don't know. I was see me when I make <laughs> when I make songs. I don't uh-huh. think of the name to after the song finish. Yeah. So I was like, man, what would be a good name for this? Yeah. And I was like. Okay, I'm gonna get fifteen hundred from the court. Right, exactly. You know. Shoot, well, if you got fifteen hundred dollars and you go to the mall, you gonna buy a fly outfit. That's gonna, <laughs> yeah. that's gonna be a fly yeah. outfit. Oh yeah, <laughs> for real. So I see when you started doing your um, when you first started your career, you started doing like a lot of covers and challenges on social media. Do you feel like that kind of showed a little bit more of your authenticity as an artist, and do you kind of like that more, like that better recording than you know? I like both of them because it shows like different sides of me. Mm-hmm. You know, people so used to seeing the trap side of me. Yeah, they, they just see like oh. He really versatile. He really can, you know, he really can do this. Right. So I like both sides. Right, right. So what kind of motivates you to start doing covers? Like, do you just pick a song like, hey, I'm going to do this? Or kind of what makes the I'm going to do this cover Because it's like, it's like people, I say, I ask the people, y'all pick a beat and mm-hmm. I just do whatever to it. Okay. I know. They send me a beat, you know. Whichever ones get the most votes, that's what I do. Okay. So I do it like that. Yeah. So you kind of like the people. Yeah. The people decide. Let the people decide. All right, people, fans, everybody, you know, yeah. Sean Kemp listening to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> to everybody. <laughs> so is your real name Sean Kemp? Nah, my real name ain't Sean Kemp. My middle name is Sean. Okay. So where did Sean Kemp come from? Okay. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. My middle name is Sean. Okay. My my favorite guns is 40. Okay. And that's what I got. Uh-huh. And I was like, Sean Kemp. And I put it together like that. Number 40. <laughs> that's like simple. Sean Kemp. <laughs> that's simple. <laughs> Listen, that's a whole story behind your name. <laughs> Somebody could actually be like, where did you get Sean Kemp from? Well, my favorite gun is 40. And my middle name is Sean. That's fair enough. So that's fair enough. Put it together and got Sean Kemp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) So you say your genre of music is trap rap. Yeah. Do you kind of, is that like your lifestyle? Do you kind of base your music off how you live or you kind of just want to speak for, you know, people who's out here, you know, trapping, you know, whipping in the kitchen hard on the corner every day, day and night? It's ain't ba- ain't wash his ass. <laughs> <laughs> but you're on that Sean Kemp. Uh, yeah. It's basically my lifestyle. Uh-huh. Since we're being honest. I'm being honest with you right it now. It is let's my, be real. It's, it's my lifestyle. This is how I grew up. 
Yeah. That's what I always been around, mm. you know. So I talk about it in my music. Exactly. So how has your childhood kind of affected or kind of inspired your music or more motivated your music? It See my childhood was it was rough. Mm. You know, it was rough. Yeah. A lot going on and everything. So it motiv you know, I ain't really had nobody to talk to about it, so I just put it in my music. Yeah. That's how I've been. Right. You know. Right. And you're are you from Charlotte or Shelby? I'm from Shelby. Okay. Okay. You know, okay. So that's where I was born and raised. Uh mm huh. -hmm. But I've been living in Charlotte about four years. Mm -hmm. You know. So life in Shelby was would do you would you say it was kinda hard for you growing up? Yeah. As far as like would you did you, as far as like having your family there supporting you, did you have that? Yeah, my mom was always there. My dad went, you know, it was just my mom. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. So it was like that. That what does she think about your music? She support me in everything I do. That's what's I, up. I love my mama for that. <laughs> right. Are you only child? Nah. Okay. How I many got, brothers and sisters? Got, I got three sisters. Okay. Yeah. You're the only boy? Yeah. Wow. How was that growing up? Tough. Was you the bad little boy? Are you the youngest, oldest? I'm the, I'm the oldest Okay. on my mom's side. I'm the youngest on my dad's side. Okay. So if your little sisters needed somebody to be, get beat up, you was there. Oh yeah, basically. I'm like, always oh, behind him. My, little, my my big brother. Be <laughs> yeah. I'm always behind him. <laughs> okay, that's what's up. <laughs> so what are your sisters? How was that growing up with three sisters and you being the only male? I know you like living in that lifestyle. Like, kind of, did you have to walk in that light of like, hey, I'm leading by example, or was it kind of like I got to get this money, I got to make this music, you know? I'm a it's like get it how I live. You gotta get it how you live. Amen. And you just, you know what I'm saying? Do what you're accustomed to. Exactly. Look at we ain't gonna be beating around the bush right now. No, I'm we, being honest. Let's be real. I'm being you feel honest. me? For real. So, yeah. shit. Well, what are some of the artists that you grew up listening to that kind of inspired you in your path? I listen to all kind of artists. I listen to Tupac. Uh huh. Uh, Tupac, my favorite. Yeah. I listen to Erica Badu. Okay. Everything. All right. All kind of music. Old school R and B. Everything. Okay. So, do you sing? Since you listen to Erica Badu, do you kind of put a little bit of harmonizing? Now that's the thing. I don't Ooh. sing. It's just just straight it's rap. It's just common. It, yeah. It, it just calms me. Okay. Mm. For real. Yeah. So. Hold on. You listen to Erica Badu. You got to put, do you ever put like a heartfelt song and just kind of just like get into your feelings and just write? Oh, yeah. That's all I do is write. It ain't all about trap. Yeah. It's about relationships, everything. Yeah. Have you ever cried writing a song? Cry writing a song? Nah. I cry on the inside. I just, it don't come out. Damn. For real. That sucks. I ain't crying forever. <laughs> you ain't crying forever. When was the last time you cried? Honestly, when I was little. Bang. Yeah. You got to cry sometime. I know. I know. Shoot. Living that life. I mean, I haven't been in a lifestyle like, oh, like street, street, streets. But, you know, yeah. I've lost people where I've been like, oh, you know what? F the world. F this. F somebody. Where it's like, you want to be hard, but like. Yeah. That shit be making you soft on the inside. Oh, yeah. And I feel like males, especially male rappers, like it's like you have to have this image of masculinity and you have to be like, you know, that tough. Yeah. You know, especially when you, you know, in the streets and you really doing your thing. And a lot of people don't understand those people go through a lot of things that kind of break you down and really get men emotional where they kind of feel like it's a burden or it's kind of like a bad thing to show your emotional side. Yeah. So. You know what you mean? You feel me? Yeah, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. You feel me? If I ever cry, it's in the inside. It just don't show. It just don't come out. For real. Well, yeah. listen, listen. That's that's real. Yeah. But you know, listen to your music. Like you can really tell. Like you have a story. It's just a lot, of, a lot of emotion behind it. Yeah. You know, I see you put out your album, Kemp. Tell me about that. What kind of inspired Kemp? What kind of inspired that is, you know, so I was thinking one day. Uh -huh. I said, 
people got to know, like, who I am. Yeah. Well, at least a side of me. Because mm-hmm. it's, you know what I'm saying, it's two sides to everybody. Yeah. At least one side of me. So I felt like this album gave you an insight of one side of me. Yeah. But my new EP that's coming out this okay. year yeah. called Self Healing going to give you the other side. The other side. So what's this side of camp? This side of camp, what are we talking about right now? Yeah. Like in front of you. Is this is this the animal? <laughs> Who is this? Nah, just Who is this? Relax. I'm really a calm person. I'm I'm laid back all the time. Yeah. But uh, uh 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 I feel like it's still somebody, you know, it's a it's a calm person on the outside. Yeah. But it may be an animal on the inside. Is there an animal on the inside? When I lose my temper. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he had to look at me real quick and think about it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> Let me not sound crazy on this interview. Yeah, I ain't want to scare you or <laughs> nothing like that. It's okay. Listen, it's, let's be real. I'm I'm sure it's a lot of people that think I'm crazy too. But yeah. that's just how I am, like out there. You gotta be out there. So what's your favorite song on Kim? My favorite one is Pretty and Ghetto. Okay. That's my favorite one right there. Okay. And why? Because I I like my women pretty and ghetto. Okay. You know. Okay. So you say you like your women pretty and ghetto. What do you, okay. So it's the difference between ghetto and ratchet in my, exactly. in my opinion. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. What is your definition of ghetto? When I'm saying ghetto, I'm saying like attitude wise. She got to okay. have some type of attitude. She can't be like no pushover or nothing like right. that. Right. You know? Right. Nothing like that's what I'm talking about. I ain't talking about all that ratchet stuff. Right. Like that. that that oh no, you better pick it something. Nah, that ain't I don't know. <laughs> that ain't for me right there. Somebody you know who really is on their grind, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. Can't be walked over. Like yeah. you can't walk on her. Yeah. She, yeah. I don't need somebody to do everything I say. Right. Oh, how do I listen? Let's be going back. <laughs> Hold on. You say you don't need a woman to do everything you say. Nah, everything I say. Okay. So what do you what do you mean by that? I'm saying she gotta have a mind of her own. Okay. If it's something that I want her to do and she don't feel comfortable doing it, speak up, tell me. Okay. Don't just do it because I want you to do it. Look, y'all, he listen, let's be real. We let's be real. real. For real, because I feel like a lot of men, they want their women to be submissive. Or they don't want their women to, like, in all honesty, I feel like, like, are you kind of, do you feel like you kind of get intimidated by a woman who speaks up for herself? You don't feel like that intimidates you? Nah, it's a turn on. Okay. That's good. That's good for real. Because. I know she got a mind of her own. Like. Yeah. If I'm telling you to do everything, you doing it. Right. (laughs) <laughs> so if you see a girl and you're you're able to tell her everything that you want her to, do you kind of feel like that you'll use that to your advantage, or do you feel like you'll kind of still tell her what to do, still tell her what to do, and see how far you can get her I, to do? It's not kind of play that mind game. Yeah, sometimes I'm like, how far is she gonna go? Like, ooh, ladies, you know ladies, if you're if you're dating Mr. Kim. Be on your P's and Q's, baby. <laughs> Please, for real. Because he going to see how far you can go. <laughs> see, I'm a, I'm a psychology person. Like, yeah. I like to see how people think. You know, it's but that is true. If you are able to tell somebody, like, let's, let's say, if you're able to always tell, add, tell somebody, give me some money. Yeah. And every time they give you some money. You keep doing it. You gonna keep doing you keep it. Doing it. <laughs> but if you t- if you ask this girl, hey, let me get some money. She like, no, uh, you need to get up, get a job. Yeah. And be like, oh no, I can't play that with her. Yeah, you need somebody to balance you out. For real. What's your birthday? Ten seven nine one October. Ten seven. Yeah. Oh, listen, you a Libra. Yeah, I'm a Libra. Best sign. Let what's up, Libra the best sign. Libra, the best sign. <laughs> Listen, I'm 925 though. I'm a September Libra. Okay, still Libra though. 
you know, <laughs> you know, Libra. See, that's why I felt like we was here. Yeah, we was here. You would see. Yeah, I knew what was up. It's that connection, <laughs> that connection. But yeah. honestly, I I can't date a Libra m- male. Yeah, we we strong we strong minded. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you feel like you can date a Libra female? Nah, cause we both strong minded. Yeah, and it's just gonna we just keep bumping heads. Right. I that's just all feel it's like. Libra guys are and Libra guys and Libra females are good friends though. Yeah, they good. Like friends. if I like listen, I can't date a Libra because it's like I know how I am. Yeah, and you know how you are. Yeah, I know how I am. You, you know how us Libras are. You know. Yeah, we, I, we, we, <laughs> we might a little flirt on the side, you know. Yeah, <laughs> we might flirt, but it don't mean nothing really. Yeah. Nothing at all. So that's how it is. For real. That's how it is. We just gonna be we just gonna be chilling. So watch what you say is trending number two on Indie Charlotte. Yeah. How was seeing that progress and kind of your song in that position? What was that feeling like? Yeah, it made me feel good because it's mm-hmm. finally getting recognized, you know. Right. Yeah. So yeah, that was big for me. Yeah. How do you feel like it's been getting recognized and kind of seeing how people vibe with you as an artist? It feels good because it's like all the work you're putting in finally paying off. Exactly. You know, and that's a good feeling for real. It really is. It really yeah. is. Especially you putting all that money into it. I'm telling you. Are you the only person in, investing in your dream or do you kind of have investors behind you? Me, all my money. Yeah. Videos, studio time. Everything. My wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, listen. Was worth it? Is it going to be easy? It was easy. It's not worth it. Yeah, that's true. And on that note, y'all, we about to take a quick break. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, y'all. So we are back with our episode with Mr. Sean Kemp. So... As an artist, what do you feel like you can wor- work on to elevate in your career? Um, like my performance. Okay. My performance is good. Everybody, you know, they say the performance was great, but it's me, I'm a perfectionist, so it's like it's something I can fix. Right. What do you feel like um, when you're performing, what do you feel like you can get better at? Is it as far as like, you know, walking around on the stage when you're performing or is it kind of like more the interaction with the crowd or more of you walking and rapping? My breathing. breathing. Okay. 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 Because when you got a lot of energy and you jumping all over the place and everything, you got to control your breathing. Listen, do you work out? Getting back into it right now. Okay. Listen, that can help too. When you yeah. working out, because <laughs> yeah. if you're fat, yeah, you gonna get tired on this stage. Yeah, I know. You, you know, gonna be, I know. You're gonna be over there wheezing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you now. <laughs> so I've been seeing you do a lot of performance. What has been your favorite performance so far? My favorite one was at the Lou Music. Okay. Uh, that we had February 8th. Okay. Right, that's my favorite one. And how was that experience? Because it's like. You got the whole crowd into it. Yeah. And everybody, you know what I'm saying, jump it up, chin and everything. That's a good feeling. Right. Right there, that's a good feeling. Yeah. And the people didn't even know me. But wow. now they do. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. So do you kinda why are we so emotional? Is like do you kinda get emotional seeing people like every day supporting your music and kinda like supporting your hard work? Like yeah, it's a great feeling, you know. Yeah, it make you real happy for real. For real, yeah. kind of make you want to like it keep going. Yeah, it don't matter if it's twenty people, right? Thirty people, you like they support. They, me. they support you. Me. Hey, listen, what Are you cuss on it? Oh know? yeah, okay, hell, you know, hell yeah, I, right, you know. <laughs> but let's be real. And that's what I, you know. Yeah, that's why I want. My artists and everyone who I have on the show to be able to feel comfortable, especially talk about who you are, yeah. you know. So if you like fuck this shit, yeah, I'm gonna be like I'm a fucking rock star. <laughs> yeah. that, that's how you are, and I feel like yeah. that's how you have to, like that's how you have to act in life. Like even though I'm like my, my podcast isn't worldwide yet, 
I, I'm in my head. I'm thinking like, oh, I'm not doing enough. But then when I look at my stats, I'm like, wow, I done hit different countries. Yeah, that's what I And I, I got like. you know different cities listening. You like, wow, like no matter what, like as much as you just keep going, it's just gonna be people that exactly. I look, gonna show you love. Exactly. I look at my stats and they say. I got plays in Italy. I ain't never been to Italy. It'd be like, I, <laughs> I, I don't even know how to speak. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I ain't never been there. For real. I ain't never touched well, brief Italy good, here. Though. For real. It yeah. really does. It really does. Because it's just like, I don't know. I feel like, especially as a creative, we stress ourselves so much for getting noticed or getting, yeah. you know. And I feel like... Patience is definitely the key, it is. especially when being on this journey. Like it's music, podcast, or even people that do videography, photography. Like it just really patience is key. Yeah, because that what I I never thought I'd be getting as much love as I have, or you know, yeah, it's just you know overwhelming. But shoot, thank the supporters. Oh yeah, for real. Thank I'm real thankful for them. For real, for real, for real, yeah. for real. So if you could sign with a label right now, who would it be? Or would you want to continue as an independent artist? To be honest, I would be want to be independent. Okay. I would want like a partnership with a label or something like that. Okay. But I wouldn't want to be signed to one. All right. So what kind of what makes you want to be an independent artist? Because it's like I'm in control of what I do and how I move. Mm -hmm. And create the kind of content that I want to create. Yeah. Okay. And would you want to start your own label? Yeah. That's my uh, dream. That's your goal? A, yeah, that's my goal right there. Okay. So do you have some artists right now that's kind of, you know, rolling behind you, that's kind of supporting you and y'all move as a group? Yeah, I got an artist. She coming on a ride. Oh, okay. Ride. She. Yeah. Okay. Females doing it big. What, what's her name? Her name, Jamai. They call her Youngin. Okay, Yankee. Yeah. Where's she from? She from uh Gastonia. Okay, from yeah. okay, Gastonia. Okay. I see yeah. it. So that's good. So what's kind of been the really how did you guys um discover each other? Oh, that's that's my little cousin. Yeah. That's my little cousin, yeah. Okay. Y'all kinda cousin. just trying to go on this music journey together. Yeah. All right. She dope. Yeah. She need to be heard. Does she rap or sing? She rap. Oh. Okay. She cold. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. Shoot. Well, you bring her on some time. We need to have another part two or something. Oh, yeah. We need a part two. For real. Got to. Bring her with me. Yeah. Do you have any other artists that you kind of... That's all I got right now. Yeah. yeah. Keep it in the family, in the blood. Yeah. Time. Yeah. Just... That's what... That's what... Starting in the family, within people. Yeah. Instead of going out and... Working with people that really don't even really support you. Kind of just piggybacking off of yeah, your clout. Just, Trying to ride the wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What What do you feel like has been the hardest obstacle for you right now? Hardest obstacle is I got a lot of content, but creating even more content. Right. Because it's expensive. It exactly. takes money, especially when you want quality. Exactly. Take money. So I've been doing that. Right. It's been going good. I got some stuff that's coming out. I got some stuff saved up Ooh, for y'all. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. We're looking forward to it. Okay, so if you could use three words to describe you and your music, what three words would you choose? Laid back. Okay. <laughs> for one, because that's what I am. Uh, I'm going to say calm. That's basically like laid back, but you know. I was about to say that, like, yeah. uh, uh, energetic. Okay. Cause I'm like two different people. I'm laid back now, but I like on stage it was like, dang, bro, I ain't know you was that high on the energy. Yeah, yeah, like that. And um, that's them words I got right there. Yeah. Calm, laid back, and uh, energetic. Okay. Yeah. So, kind of, do you feel like you have an alter ego when you do music? Like you keep talking about like these two people. Like, do you feel like you know? I'm. What's your real name? Cameron. Yeah, you Cameron. Know. Yeah. You. So, do you feel like you know? I'm Cameron in a day, but I'm Sean Kemp at night. Yeah, I am two different people. Okay. Cameron, you know, 
like I'm saying, this is what you're getting right now. Laid back. That, is, it, is this Bobby. Cameron or Sean Kemp? It's Cameron right here. Okay. It's Cameron. <laughs> Sean Kemp is just like, like wow, he wow. <laughs> right. That's a, he a wild boy. Yeah, he wild. Okay, so Sean Kemp, that he come in the studio. Yeah. He that's that's who I'm getting at the performances. Yeah, he comes with studio. He ready to go. He ready to go. You ain't even gotta. You need time now. I'm ready to go right now. You go ahead, and drop the beat. Let's get it. Wow. Okay. So speaking of dropping the beat, do you feel like you are good with freestyling? I don't freestyle. I write a lot because uh-huh. I think I think too much. Okay. I think too much, so I gotta write it down. Oh, shoot. I'm just being honest. I'm being honest. I could freestyle, you know what I'm saying? I could freestyle if I really put the time into it. Yeah. But I write so much, you know? Hmm. So you more so like to write more yeah. than you freestyle? I've always been a writer. Okay. Write everything. Right. How long do you feel like it takes you to write a song? Not long. I can write like six, seven songs in a day. Really? Yeah. Okay. Do you got? You feel like you got a lot of songs in the vault? Yeah, I got a whole bunch of songs. I got notebooks, notes full of phones, another phone full of notes. I got. <laughs> hey, I really ain't you said you got a again. note full of phones and a phone full of notes. Yeah, I really ain't got to write up again. Yeah. But I just choose to because I like write. Yeah. So do you feel like you um are like a metaphorical artist? Like, do you feel like you like to throw a lot of you know catchy lines in there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's just your sway. Yeah. Okay. I like metaphors. Okay. Yeah. You feel like that kind of. <laughs> Do you feel like that? <laughs> <laughs> you are funny, yo. You are really, really, really funny. <laughs> so, uh, what legacy would you like to leave in your city? Is it either in Charlotte, North Carolina, Shelby? Authentic. Okay. That's all I want. I just want to let the people know authentic, real. Yeah. It's me. Yeah. What you see is what you get. Yeah. Ain't no sugar coating. Okay. Yeah. I feel like it's a lot, though. Yeah. It's a lot. It's only one side to me. This is That's only one side. It's only one side. We to need me. to have a part two. I need Sean Kemp. Yeah. But we need it. <laughs> I'm going to be on stage like, okay, so how do you... <laughs> So, do you have any other artists? I mean, e- any other hobbies that you like to do or interested in? As far as like maybe like um, going to fashion in your career, maybe even um, production or creative directing. I like fashion. Okay, I always want to own my own uh, fashion line. Okay. Yeah. And what kind of would you want to start your own like brand for your company or yeah. for your career? Yeah. Okay. Start my own brand. Okay. That's what's up. Yeah. Okay. So on that, do you have any upcoming projects, events? Events. I got a um. I got a show tomorrow up here. You got, got a show a tomorrow. Up here. What? Yeah. What's the show? I got the show tomorrow with uh Mooney's Lounge. Okay. <laughs> I, I think I um. Yeah, we doing showcases over there. Yeah, it's like the open mic. Yeah, open mic. Thing. Okay. Then yeah. I got, well, I got booked for a show um May first. Okay. King's Mountain. Oh wow. Yeah. So, do you, what do you have in store for 2020? Like, what is your main goal for 2020? Main goal is I'm dropping more projects, more videos. You're gonna see a lot of me. You can like I see him everywhere. That's good. You, you gotta put your me. face out there. Really? Yeah. Because if people don't see who you are, people are not gonna know who you are. Yeah. If you're not putting your thing out there, people, how people gonna know what you do or who you are? Exactly. I swear, if people, I, I, I wouldn't even know. Follow me on social media. It'd be like, oh yeah, I be seeing you everywhere. I'm like, I didn't yeah. even know you even fucking. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> but hey, that's what you gotta do. You just gotta put yourself out there. Yeah. So speaking on that, where would you like to see yourself in five years? In five years. CEO of my record label. Okay. And got my fashion line started up. Okay. And going is buzzing, popping. Right. That's all I want. Be a businessman. Be a businessman. Yeah. Would you, do you feel like you would want to kind of still be an artist? Or do you feel like when you do kind of get your foot in the door, you would want to step back from being an artist and kind of manage other artists? Probably manage other artists. Okay. Let them shine. That's what's up. You know, 
be that laid back, you know, kind of like yeah. stepping stone for people. Yeah. I want to be a boss in anything I do. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. I feel like you just all about getting money. Yeah. You all about chilling, relaxing. You want, you want your bully. You want your bully. Well, shoot. That's what you got to stay focused. Yeah. Stay focused out there. Please, y'all, stay focused. Yeah. And don't let nobody stop you. Can't nobody stop me but me. What? You are your biggest yeah. fo- step, step back. Yeah. Step up. Man, yeah, can't nobody stop me but me. What? I really believe that, for real. Because what you say, I'm, that's going to be the name of this episode. What it is, what, what it, it is. ain't, what it's what, looking like. <laughs> what it is, what it ain't, what it's looking like. <laughs> <laughs> so, actually, what has been the craziest thing that you've endured during your career? Have you hit that yet? Like, where you just, like, had this crazy experience and it's just. No, I ain't, I ain't hit that yet. Okay, you will. Yeah, I know. We're gonna speak, <laughs> That's coming. We're gonna speak it to existence. <laughs> yeah, it's coming. Like you ain't had nobody just like ah. Oh <laughs> yeah. Stage. Speaking of that, uh, uh, I know it's 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 a story. Yeah, my first performance I ever did. Yeah. I was at um, Golden Boys. Yeah. In ship. Um, after their performance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two girls inboxed me, talking about they want to give me some head. <laughs> they don't even know me. I ain't do it though. But did you want to do it? Nah. It's too easy. That's too easy. Oh, ooh. So just like you said, you don't, you don't want no girl. You can tell what to do. That's too easy. It's too easy. You need yeah. a you need a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what it is. Yeah. That's what it ain't. And that's what it's looking, what it looking like. like. Hey, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so tell the people where they can find your music. I'm on all platforms. Mm-hmm. Just type in Sean Kemp and I'm going to pop up. For real. The yeah. Sean Kemp. Yeah. For real. Because when you look it up, who is going to pop up? Sean Kemp. Sean Kemp. Not Cameron. Sean Kemp. Sean Kemp. And y'all need to go stream it ASAP. Yeah, stream Kemp. It's on Apple Music, all that. Well, actually, tell me your social media tags. Listen, my Everything. Instagram is Sean underscore Kemp G Y B. You know what I'm saying? My Facebook, Sean Kemp. Twitter, Fresh underscore Bomb. That's what one M. Mm-hmm. And you know, that's it right there. I'm glad you said your Instagram name. So I know Woody got the same thing. Yeah. Where did G Y B come from? From we from when we was little, man. Really? Hey, you know, shout out to all my G Y B partners though. Okay, what does G Y B mean? Me? <laughs> oh, we being real. Okay, we being real. Okay, Man. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you tell me what it means, this time I gotta look behind my back. Like, oh, she know what that means. We gotta, we gotta nah, look out ain't for no, it. Ain't nothing like that. Okay, ain't nothing like that. All right. Man, we was young. You know what I'm saying? You know what you do when you young. Yeah. And everything, but it's never got your bitch. Okay. Yeah. Okay, GYB. Yeah, got your bitch. Okay. It, What's the would you want to kind of bring that to like the brand? Yeah, I like that's that. Be, that's gonna that's what it's gonna be. G-Y-B. Like, got your bitch. Yeah, be like I got your bitch. Listen to my music now. Yeah, we on that GYB. Yeah, <laughs> the GYB. Somebody said set <laughs> <laughs> Bubba Bubba right. Yeah, that's my boy. That's the one you said. You know what I'm saying? You thought it was my twin. Oh, <laughs> that, look at twin <laughs> twin out here. He said, "Say, <laughs> yeah, that's my boy right there, my cousin." Yeah, listen. Well, that's what's up. I know you got a good support team behind you. A yeah. lot of people, you know, going hard for you. Do you have any shout outs that people? Yeah, shout out to GYB. Shout out to 1712. Okay. Shout out to Bethany. Shout out to everybody. My mama, and my oh. grandma, everybody. Yeah. What's 1712? That's, That's the street. The street. Seventeen twelve Carson Road is where it started. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Everybody was raised there. Yeah. This where my great grandmother, great grandfather built their house at. Oh wow. And it's still up there to this day. It's like a family home. Family home. We had dinners, cookouts, everything up there. Oh yeah, I need to get invited to a cookout. Yeah. That's one thing I like to. I like to eat. Yeah, but look, good food for <laughs> real. That's one good thing. Food. If you if you on this show, you a real one. You family yeah. now. Yeah. You family. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, thank you, everybody, for tuning in to Let's Be Real, the podcast with me and Sean Kemp. They said, shout out Uncle Cho. Shout out Uncle Cho. Uncle yeah, Cho. Shout out Uncle Cho. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Check out my homeboy, Sean Kemp. Check out his music, Kemp, which is now available on Apple Music. And see y'all next week. Bye. <laughs>